What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video here on Joey Dutch. Let's continue the series from our previous video. So, looking at this, I would want to fix the background, right? I have some blotches here on the background. Let's send this to full screen. I have some blotches here on the background. Then we'll do some blemish removal. Let's see. I'm not sure we'll do some ironing here, but I would have loved to do some ironing on her outfit. So, let's just get right to fixing the background. With fixing the background, I always tell you guys, duplicate your layer, right? Control J or Command J on Mac to duplicate your layer. Pick up your quick selection tool. Let's try the magic one too and see how it works. Tap on this and it picks up some gray on the outfit. So Control D to deselect. Let's pick up our quick selection tool and max out the background ground so as you can see it's picking up some of the outfit hold alt on the keyboard and draw over the outfit there's no good selection so just because we want this video to be as short as possible right and let's add the side Take this one out. Hold alt on the keyboard as always. To take the selection out from where you don't want it. All right, great. Now let's smoothen the edges. So select and max for Photoshop 2019, 2020, 2018, or 2017, 2015, I think. But any other version before 2015, I think it will be refined max. So select and max, right? I'll pick up this two. Then I'll paint on the edges so that I get a smooth selection around the edge of the whole selection. Okay, so I don't think I'll do anything here. I'll just click on OK. Then I have a very good selection around the hair. I think the side was left out, but we'll fix that very soon. So after doing this, hold Command J or Control J on the keyboard to duplicate the layer, right? So let's undo this and see what we've done. So after the selection, make sure the selection is on layer 1. Control or Command J to duplicate the key. Eh, sorry, to duplicate the layer. Then you get only the background with the subject cut out. So to do this, hold Alt and just click on the visible layer on the layer you want to view. Now we want to select the human being. So hold Control on the keyboard and tap on layer two. Hold Control Shift I or Command Shift I. To invert the selection now we have the selection on the subject come back to layer one and hold ctrl j to duplicate the layer again so holding alt and clicking on layer three you realize we just have the selection of the subject so that's how you get to cut out your subject from a plain background so i would want to move this layer three up here right because we'll be blurring off this layer two because of these blotches over here. We could have used um, the patch tool to fix this, but you're looking at a clean background. So tap on layer two, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and keep on increasing your Gaussian blur to the point that you think the background is as clean as possible. I think one, 80 does it for me. So I'll just tap on OK. My machine loads up. Then I have a clean background. So this is the before 
and this is the after, before and after. Now let's take a look at this blush over here, before and after. Right, great. But taking a look at this blurred background, you realize there are some lines all over. This is mostly, it's a gray background, so you're not really seeing it. But if you were to do it on any other colored background, I think you would see it very clearly. So this is what we term as banding in Photoshop. So this banding can be fixed by adding noise. So on this layer, still on the layer to where we blur that background, come to filter, noise, add noise, a noise of 1.1. 1 .1. Depending on how strong the banding is. So let's look at this. This is after we've added the noise. Before the noise, you still see the banding. After the noise, the banding goes away. So that's how you get to fix banding issues after blurring off your background or any other background you'll be working with. I think I love this, right? But taking a look at this side, I think it has affected some of the outfit. So let's put a max on this. Pick up your brush tool. Flow at 100. Black on white. Black conceals hide. Um, black conceals or hides or in white reveals. So let's just pick up black brush. Tap on the max and paint it off the outfit. I see before and after. I think we missed here. And let's come here to before and after. Affect this side of the outfit too. So paint it out from the outfit. You can choose not to be careful about this because most of the issues were actually far away from the model. But if you have a background that has issues all over, you would have to be careful when you are painting out these issues. Let's see, before and after, before. I don't think I'll touch anything around the hair because I love what it has done to the hair. Let's see, before and after, I think we missed this side too. All right, so let's group these. Control or Command J to group. Relabel this to background. So we have fixed this in Photoshop. So before and after, before and after. So fixing the background is one thing you should learn how to do in Photoshop whenever you're shooting in the studio. Let's see, on a plain background. If I shot this on a canvas backdrop, I don't think I would actually blur out the background or clean the background or smoothen it. But if it's a plain background and you have cramps or you have some issues on the background, I think you should fix your background, learn how to clean the background, make it look as presentable so that it will be appealing to whoever you shot at. Thank you for joining this video. Thank you for liking this video. I know you haven't liked it. Yes, so smash the like button if you love this content. Leave me a comment down the section below so that I'll know whatever it is you guys want me to do next. But I know my next video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Turn on that bell notification icon to get notified whenever I drop a new video here on my YouTube channel.